what we're going to be looking at here is property, plant, and equipment analysis here to evaluate the assets relative to their activity or their turnover here and their profitability. And we're going to be looking at these three ratios here, the asset turnover ratio, the profit margin here on sales, and the rate of return here on assets. And we're just going to be going, working off this example here where Corporation A, their annual report here for 20x2 here, and it's going to be in millions of dollars. And it's showing here for both the end of the year here, 20x2, and then the the previous end of the year here on 20x1. So we have our total assets uh, amount showing and we're going to have total liabilities and net sales here and net income here and that's showing for both the end of both of these years here 20x2 and 20x1. So let's go and look at uh, calculating these ratios. So first for our asset turnover ratio and that measures how efficiently the company uses its assets to generate sales. So this uh, asset turnover ratio is simply taking the net sales here for the year and divide it by the average total assets and that's going to equal our assets turnover here. So our net sales here and for 20x2 here was $20,300,000 and then our average total assets that was uh, for 20x2 we had $26,600,000 plus the uh, uh, for 20x1 that amount here was 28,300,000. Total those here divide them by two to determine their average divide it here into our net sales and that's going to give us our asset turnovers here. In this case it was 0.736 times here and what that does is it uh, this is how you interpret here it generates the sales of uh, 0.736 dollars here per uh, dollar of assets here in this year here 20x2 here so uh, generated sales of uh, this amount here 0.736 dollars here per the dollar of assets here that was being used here in 20x2 okay now for our profit margin here on sales ratio here this is the rate of return here on sales and it measures how profitably the company uses its assets here so again uh, you take the profit margin on sales here as you take your net income here for the year divide it by your net sales and that's going to equal your profit margin here on sales. So our net income here for 20x2 was 1270000 divided by the net sales of 20300000 And that's going to give us a percentage here of 6.56%. So that's our profit margin here on sales. Now we can take and determine our rate of return here on our assets here by taking our profit margin on sales times the asset turnover. Now remember we calculated the asset turnover here was our net sales divided by our average total assets. So, and then we've uh, calculated our profit margin on sales here um, to be again 6.56 percent here and then our net our asset turnover we calculated that up above here at the 0.736 times here you multiply that those quantities out here and you're going to get 4.83 percent here now that's the rate of return here on our assets now we can also calculate this uh, uh, rate of return on our assets here or return on our investment here in this fashion here you just take the rate of return and that represents the rate of return the company achieves through the use of its assets so we can, in the, as we did up above here, we can uh, use this ratio here. We, all we do is take our net income here and divide it by our average total assets, and that's going to equal our rate of return on our assets. Same as we done up here, only using this ratio here. So our net income here for uh, 20x2 was 1270000 divided by the average total assets that we had for 20x2 at 26600000 plus for 20x1 here at 28 million. 300,000. Total those, divide them by two to determine the average of total assets, divide that into our net income, and we're going to come up with our rate of return on our assets here, 4.83%. Same as we did up here using our multiplication here, our mar profit margin on sales times our uh, asset turnover, uh, we can use this e uh, ratio here to determine the same amount here, the rate of return on our assets. Now, uh, what this does here is it combines the effects of both the profit margin here and our asset turnover, and that measures our profitability here. So let's just go through these one more time here, just so you can go over these here. Asset turnover ratio, 
Net sales here for the period divided by the average total assets. That's our asset turnover. And you're going to get a, come up with, um, this is, remember, this, generate, uh, this generates sales of X dollars here, in this case, 0.736 dollars here per dollar of assets that were being used here for the year here. And then our profit margin on our sales ratio, uh, that's just simply taking a net income divided by the net sales for the period. That gives you your profit margin here on sales. And then you can take, uh, use this profit margin on sales that we calculated times the asset turnover that we calculated above that was our net sales divided by total average total assets and that's going to give us our rate of return here on assets and then again you can do determine the rate of return here on assets in just by using this ratio here net income divided by the average total assets that gives us a rate of return here on assets so you can determine your rate of return on assets either uh, using the by product multiplying your profit margin on sales times your asset turnover ratio or just divide your net income here divided by your average total assets uh, for the period. All right, so that summarizes our three um, uh, ratios here that we're looking at. Our asset turnover ratio, our profit margin on sales, and our rate of return here on our assets.